If you're looking to buy your first flash, then look no further than the Godox Lux Elf. This new flash is super easy to use and works with just about any camera, Fujifilm, Nikon, Canon, Sony, Olympus, it even works with your film cameras. In this review, I'll give you a quick overview of the flash and its specifications. I'll show you how to use it. I'll show you some example photos I took with my Ricoh GR3, and I'll also compare it to the Godox Lux Junior. So Godox has a few flashes in the Lux range now. Let's hear what Godox had to say about this new one. The Lux Elf is perfect for photography enthusiasts and novice flash photographers seeking an affordable and user-friendly flash for capturing beautiful images. Before we continue, I think that's a really important point to make. Godox are targeting novice flash users and enthusiasts with this flash. They're not targeting professionals who have studios, who might be doing fashion shoots on location or in the studio. They are targeting people who perhaps have never used a flash before on their camera. So if you're just getting into flash photography and you want something super simple to use, something nice and light you can throw in your bag or in your pocket, and something that gives good results, this could be the flash for you. So let's start off by looking at what you get in the box. The ELF is attractively packaged like all Godox flashes. Inside we find the ELF flash, a USB-C to a USB-A charging cable, a storage bag and a manual. Now I find the text size in the manual is quite hard to read. It is super small, even when I'm wearing glasses. And if that's the case for you, don't worry. Just Google Godox Lux Elf Flash Manual and you'll be able to find it on the internet. They publish a PDF version in Mandarin and English. So you can blow that up as big as you want on your computer screen and you can read it with ease. Now let's talk about the styling of the Godox Lux Elf Flash. It's very minimalist and white and clean, nice sort of white and silver, clean lines there. It looks like it's something out of like late 90s, or early 2000s. That's what it's reminiscent of. Some people have compared it to a shower head, which is a bit of an unfortunate comparison. And certainly I wouldn't recommend using your Lux Elf in the shower due to elf and safety reasons. Now, once you get that vision out of your head of this looking like a shower head, it is quite attractive looking. You know, we've got the nice silver reflector there around the bulb. However, I must say that I struggle to find a camera in my collection that this actually looks good on. Most of my cameras are black or chrome, and yeah, the white sort of look didn't really match them very well. I did a bit of research on the internet, and there are a couple of cameras I thought this would match really nicely with. So the first camera I think this would match really nicely with is the Sony ZV-1 and the other one is the Canon M3. And from what I understand, some of the publicity shots in the Godox marketing for this flash were shot with the Luxelf on top of the Canon M3. And this is reinforcing the market that Godox are chasing with this flash. They are chasing perhaps, you know, the Gen Z content creators who have these nice little vlogging cameras like the Sony, like the Canon, nice compact cameras. Well, this is a nice compact flash that matches those cameras, looks beautiful on top of them and will give you great results. So let's take a closer look at the Godox Lux Elf. Right in the middle of the flash there, you've got the flash tube and it's kind of got like a bit of bubble housing on top of it there to protect it. And surrounding that, you've got the nice silver reflector, which Godox say will give you a nice, soft, natural glow to your images. Right underneath that, you've got the unlock button. And so when you are putting this flash on top of your hot shoe of your camera, you press that in and then release it. And then when you want to take the flash off, you hold it in again to remove the flash from your camera. On the bottom, you have a single pin. And of course, the single pin is the way that this flash can be used across different camera brands. Some of Godox's other flashes have different sets of pins for different camera brands. And this allows them to be a bit more sophisticated and get the settings from your camera and be able to give you exactly the amount of flash that you need. But the Lux Elf is not one of those sophisticated flashes. It's what we call a manual flash with just a single pin. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to use it. On the side here, we have two little holes. So the first one is a USB charging slot. Of course, the Lux Elf has an inbuilt lithium ion battery that is rechargeable, and that's fantastic. You can just plug the supplied USB cord into the Lux Elf here and put the other end into a standard USB charging socket like an iPhone one, and that's how you charge your Lux Elf. Now you might remember from the Godox Lux Junior, 
I found it very difficult to get the battery cover off the Godox Lux Junior to put the AAA batteries inside it and then put it back on. I felt like I was gonna break the battery cover. I didn't, it was just kind of stiff and it was hard to work with. Well, you don't have that problem anymore with the Lux Elf. You just put your charging cable in and once it's fully charged, Godox say that you have enough power for 400 full power flashes, which is pretty impressive. Above the charging slot, there's another round hole. It looks like, like a microphone jack or something like that. That is the PC sink hole. And if you don't want to mount the Godox Lux Elf on top of your camera on a hot shoe, you can plug in a PC sync cord. You put one end of it into the Lux Elf and you put the other one into your camera and that will also trigger the Lux Elf. Now the main switch here on the back is the power switch, which also doubles as the test switch. And also it will indicate that the flash is recycling. So for example, if we press the test button here, it will go red momentarily until the charge in the flash is fully restored. And when it's green, it's good to go again. In the middle of the back here, you have this really nice silver button with this really nice click. And you can see that there are five different levels of flash for the Lux Elf, from 1 16th all the way up to 1 1 full power. So you've got 1 16th, 1 8th, 1 quarter, 1 half, and 1 1 or full power flash. Now above the power recycle LED, there's another little button there that says S1 S2. And this is for the optical control modes. So for example, if you wanted to, you could use the ELF as a secondary flash and you could trigger it through another Godox flash, which is pretty cool. And there's two different modes there that's explained in the manual, S1 mode and S2 mode. And there's an optical sensor on top of the flash there as well. And that's what the Godox Lux Elf that will receive a signal from another flash. And that's what will make it flash if it's in that optical control mode. Now I didn't use that, but the option is there if you want it. The Elf is super easy to use, but like other products in the Lux range, it cannot read settings from your camera. It's what we call a manual flash, but don't be scared. I'm going to show you how to use it. First of all, make sure that both your camera and the ELF are switched off. Then you hold in the unlock button and you slide the flash onto the hot shoe of your camera and release it. Then turn your camera on and then you can turn the ELF on. Next, you probably want to put your camera in manual mode and you might want to start off with ISO 100, f5.6 and 1 one hundredth of a second. The ELF doesn't have a huge range, so for best results, make sure your subject is fairly close to you, maybe between two and four meters away, which is around, what, six to 12 feet. Next, on the back of the ELF, dial in how much power you want to flash with. Maybe start around the one quarter power mark and see how you go. You then wait for the green light to come on on the back of the flash and you're good to go. Press that shutter button. Take a test shot and review it on the back of your camera. If you're happy, keep snapping away. But if you're not, here's what to do. So if the image is too bright, there are three things you can do. The easiest one is turn down the power of the flash on the ELF. So if you started off at one quarter power, maybe try another shot at one eighth or one sixteenth flash power and see how that turns out. Now, if that doesn't work, there are two other things you can do. You can increase the number of your aperture, your f-stop. So if you started off at f5.6, you could try f8 or f11 and see what effect that has. And the other thing you can do is you can increase your shutter speed. So if you started off at 1 100th of a second, you could try 1 1 25th of a second or 1 1 50th of a second. If the image is too dark, you can do the opposite things. So the first thing you'd want to try is turning the flash power up from one quarter, say, put it up to one half or full power, take some test shots and see how they go. And the other things you could do if it is too dark is you could make your aperture a smaller number. So from f5.6, make it f4 or f2.8 or f2 and see how that goes. And the other thing is to make the shutter speed slower. So instead of one one hundredth of a second, you could try one eightieth, one sixtieth, one fortieth, something like that. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And I'd also love it if you sign up for my free photography newsletter, mattlovescameras.substack.com. On my Substack newsletter, I feature lots of travel photography with all sorts of compact cameras, both digital and film. Now let's have a look at some of the sample images I took with the Lux Elf on top of my Ricoh GR3.
The first set of pictures are taken at the Australian Outback Spectacular and here is our family from England, Mark and Shirley, my wife's uncle and auntie and yeah they look fantastic here and the GR3 and the Elf have done a great job here, flash on full power. The next image though I was trying to take some photos of this singer, she was about 6 meters or 20 feet away and the first few were just way too dark so I had to change the flash, put it up to full power and put the Rick GR3 at 1 50th of a second f2.8 before I got a shot that was halfway decent and this next one here of Baz's bar again it was quite dark and I had to put the shutter speed all the way down to 1 10th of a second f2.8 so this is a key difference between the elf and the Lux Junior. The Lux Junior has more power for situations like this. Here is a photo of me and my beautiful wife. 1 100th of a second f5.6 flash on full power. The next one is my beautiful children after the show. They're looking fantastic here on this barrel. 1 60th of a second f5.6 to flash on half power there. A little more subtle as they were getting sick of being blinded by the flash. And here's my daughter here. 1 60th of a second f8 flash half power she's looking lovely as always and a final shot of the fam outside 1 60th at f5.6 flash half power the next shots are from a dinner outing one night and here's my son in the street and I wanted to see if I could get a nice balance between the ambient light and the background there, those beautiful clouds and using the flash here to illuminate my son and it's done a really great job there on half power. This next one's inside the restaurant on half power as well, a little bit bright there but still, you know, nice, nice bit of power there looking good but I turned the flash down to one eighth power and you can see how good this is here. Just a really nice mix here of the ambient light and the flash power. Here is what we ate. Uh, chicken garage and chips and some coleslaw. It was very nice. I highly recommend it. And here is my beautiful daughter having some miso soup. This is a little bit bright. The flash was on half power. So for the next shot, I just turned down the flash to one eighth power. And again, a much more sort of natural looking shot, balancing the ambient light and the flash. Now, as well as the GR3, I also use the Lux Elf on my Fujifilm X-T5, Fujifilm X-T4, and also my Olympus OM-1. So let's talk through some of the key differences between the Lux Elf and its competitor from the Godox stable, the Lux Junior. Well, the first one is price. The Lux Elf is significantly cheaper than the Godox Lux Junior. I mean, the Lux Junior is quite well priced anyway, so it's not as if it's expensive, but the Elf undercuts that and is even cheaper. So this is a fantastic entry point for novices getting into flash for first time and also enthusiasts who want a nice cheap light flash that will get the job done and it's nice and light they can put it in their bag or put it in their pocket and away they go. The second thing to compare is the guide number of the flashes. Now this is an indication of how powerful each flash is. The guide number for the Lux Junior is 12 where the guide number for the Elf is 6. So the Lux Junior is around twice as powerful as the Lux Elf. Now, if you're just taking uh, close-up images of people at parties or events, and you know they're quite close to the camera, look, that's not really going to matter. It's only going to really matter when you're taking flash photos of subjects that are a little bit further away. The Lux Junior does have a greater range; it can light up a bigger area than the Lux Elf. The third thing to compare is how many increments of flash each one has. So the Lux Junior has seven selectable increments of flash from 1 64th all the way up to full power 1 1 where the elf has only 5 from 1 16th up to 1 1. Now again it probably doesn't matter too much if you're just getting into flash but if you want something perhaps a little bit more sophisticated then yeah you might want to look at the Lux Junior. Another advantage Lux Junior has over the elf is the Lux Junior does have an automatic mode. Now, as I said in my Lux Junior review, it's not terribly sophisticated, but look, it gave me good results. And certainly if you want that option to switch back and forth between an automatic mode and a more manual flash mode, then perhaps consider the Lux Junior. The look of the flashes is quite different. 
So the Elf, of course, has this late 90s, early 2000s, sleek, minimalist look to it. Whereas the Lux Junior harks back to more, say, the 60s and the 70s. So there's quite a difference in the look of the flashes. And of course, the other thing about the look of the flashes is the Elf has this silver reflector around the flash bulb, which Godox say will give you a soft, natural glow to your images. And certainly in some of my images, yeah, they looked, it looked very good, the balance between the flash and the ambient light. So perhaps that was the reflector there at work. And the last point to consider is the power for each flash. So of course the Lux Junior takes AAA batteries and that battery cover is kind of tricky to get on and off, but you don't have to worry anymore with the Lux Elf. It comes supplied with a USB charging cable and it has an inbuilt lithium ion battery with each full charge can last you for around 400 flashes. So that is a big plus with the Elf. So who is this flash for? Well, I think Godox have given up the game in their promo material in terms of the description of the flash and also the visuals. This is a fantastic flash for someone starting off, someone who's new to flash, someone who has a compact camera like that Sony ZV-1 or the Canon M3. This flash will look fantastic on top of those cameras. And for you know young Gen Z content creators, this is a good, well-priced product and it gives you good results. However, if you're more of an enthusiast photographer, perhaps you've been around Flash a while, yeah, you're probably gonna to wanna to look at other options in the Godox stable, like the Lux Junior, the Lux Senior, and some of their dedicated speed lights for specific camera brands. It's no secret that I'm a big fan of Godox Flash equipment. I own everything from the AD400 through some of the Speedlight range, and also the Lux Junior and now the Lux Elf. I think this is a fantastic product at the beginner's end of the market. And certainly if you're budget conscious, if you're looking to get great results at a really attractive price and something to have fun with and play around with on compact cameras, I think the Lux Elf is a fantastic choice. 